Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And when last we left off, we rescued Beckett's friend from a La Sombra that was planning a ritual beneath the public library. We got experience for that, and we got a broadsword. It's a slight upgrade on the axe, and while the axe has been a faithful weapon, served us well all this time. It's time to trade it in for cold, sharp steel. Where to? Now let's head to our next quest. Away from here. We're off to Hollywood. We need to go to Megahertz Industry and set up another Shreknet portal. Now we want to find... It is actually right here. We have a key. We have to be very sneaky while in here, because security is going to be tight. Now, we've been told that we need to go in there and use the operations second floor. Very important that I'm not seen and that I don't kill anyone. Okay. Let's draw a weapon just so that we get a little bit more visibility. There's a lot of people here. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Ooh, okay, oh. Okay, I'm glad you don't see me there. So if I go this way... Okay, that way is not going to get me anywhere. You're going to... Oh, dear. You're going to go there. Right. Go around in a circle. So I can then... Oh. Are you going to go this way? Oh, you are. Well, I can sneak like this. Oh. I can go in here. Okay, I can go in here. I can go in here. I can go in here. Close the door. Okay. Operations. A password. Wait, do I know the password for this? Can I hack into it? With four. Yes, I can! Oh, that is good. Right. Unlock. Door unlocked. Rock on. Excellent. Oh, I'm very, very glad that I put those points into hacking. Problem now is that I need to move further in. I'm sneaky, this is a thing I am, but am I that sneaky? I could make myself even sneakier by... Ooh, if I take off my armor and switch to this one, I become even sneakier and now have a sneak of seven. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, because we're not planning on fighting. We're not planning on fighting. All right, what's the situation out here? It's not great. But if I go this way... Oh, dear. Oh! Okay. Can I get past you? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can! Okay, I'm in! Closed door! Whew. I do not know the code for that. Right. Use this. Uh, safe. Can I get into the safe? Eight. Yeah, we're not getting into that. For those about to rock, we salute you. Okay, net security. Is this also cod piece? No. Operations? No. Ooh. Mm. Was I given a code for this? I was not given a code for this. Oh, dear. Is it a lower requirement to hack into that part? I hope so. 
Let's try it. It was eight to get into the first bit. Six. I can't even put a point to this if I wanted to. This will raise my wits and perception by... Oh, no. How am I going to get this password? Is you about to rob me? So help! No, help is not going to help me. Help is not going to help me at all. This is unfortunate. So, I've spent a little while, off camera, doing some research. And the password here is incredibly clever. There isn't a clue in-game. Not directly. But indirectly there is. But this building is called Metalhead Industries. And it's got rock on as part of the general lingo of the company. That gives you a very, very subtle clue that you should be looking at rock songs. And there just so happens to be a song from the early 80s, which is very similar in title to Metal Head, Metal Health. And what's one of the lyrics in Metal Health? When you think of Metal Head, Metal Health, what do you do? Bang your head! There's a song from 1983 by a rock band which has the lyrics, Bang Your Head, called Metal Health. That is incredibly meta, and it took longer than I care to admit to research that because I'm not the biggest listener of rock music. But that is an ingenious way to hide a password in a way that forces you to think. I could have had Hacking 6 and solved that, but no! Instead, I had to dive down a hole of research into 80s rock music. I'm impressed. Now get out quietly. I'll send you an email soon. That you will! Now I need to get out of here. I have no idea what the password for the safe is. It's probably a similar kind of puzzle. But to be honest, I've dove down one rabbit hole of 80s rock song lyrics. Let's not dive down another. Right. I need to get over to there. To do that, I'm going to need you to be facing that way. Do you face the wall? You face... Oh no, you do not face the wall. You do not face the wall. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, who's there? You know what? I could just run. I could just run. Oh, you, you stop looking. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, who's there? No one's here. No one's here. Oh, I'm gonna have to run. I have to run. Oh! Quest log's been updated, apparently. Oh dear. Uh, let's load up and try and be sneaky. This is gonna be very difficult. If you get spotted, that's a problem. That's a problem. Right, I'm gonna have to be. Maybe I can jump while you're there. Oh. I can. Okay. You're then going to go over there. Oh. I can then... Oh, oh. Huh? That's bad. Someone there? No, no, no one's here. Ignore me. I'm very glad you couldn't see me there. They're gone. Good! Please move over that way. Thank you. Right, where are... Where are you? Okay, I'm about to get out of here. Is this the way out? Oh, it's the way out. Excellent, excellent. We are away. Whew. That was difficult. Don't mind me crouching. But that was a challenge. That was a challenge. We have got out of there. I learned something about music. Need a ride? It's been a day. Sure, let's go for a ride. 
I'll tell you when to stop. We need to go to downtown. And I bet the next place we need to go to is in Chinatown. I bet it is. Right. We'll head this way. And this way. I wonder how many other passwords in this game I would have been able to figure out with some external research that's not just looking up a list of passwords. wonder how many there are. If only I knew rock music better than I do. I'm much more of a synthwave kind of person. Electric sound. There is a bit of prog rock there, to be fair, but... Only a couple of bands. Right. Let's pop up here. How much experience did I get? Two experience. Not surprised. And... We are... Also, the numbers do go up as you head up. Nice little touch there. Okay. We will go this way. We'll go to our computer. We'll check our email. We have a lot of emails. Sixteen. Final network hub. Okay, this is the big one. Kuei Jin front in Chinatown called Kamikaze Zen. Yeah, I know it's Japanese. Don't ask. They've got a heavy-duty security system. Recon's coming. Once you're in, find the server room and activate the hub. One more thing, they have a vault where they keep software, etc. You better break into it and take something. Put them off the scent. This one can be messy. It's your ass. Oh dear. Uh, the key to the front door is in your mailbox. Our inside man put a file called Hooligan on one of the office terminals. It's a virus. Find it and execute it. This will shut down the power and allow you to get past the first real security door. I never got any blueprints to the inner sanctum, so once you're past the first door, you're on your own to find the server room and the vault. Good luck. Oh dear, that's going to be a messy one. Let's get that key. I don't want to go all the way into there and forget the key. Actually, we wouldn't be able to get him without the key. But I still don't want to go find that place without getting the key. So, ground floor. Grab that key. Guess we're off to Chinatown now. There's no nothing really to hold us back. We haven't found that tape yet. Also, if we go into our quest log, it says, Sebastian wants the Ankaran sarcophagus now! I'll show it to you. Uh, the prince wants the sarcophagus now! So impatient. Right. Go into here. There is the key. We want that. And now it's off to Chinatown. One thing we do want to find in Chinatown is the store. Because the store will have the next level of armor. And we want better armor. There's one more level of armor after that that I know of. If we'll be able to get that or not, we'll find out. It further reduces your dexterity, though. Two points of dexterity loss is a lot of dexterity loss, but for the amount of armor it gives, it's pretty impressive. Right. Save here, just in case we attack the car. Hop in. Sure, why not? Off to Chinatown. And here we are. Very quiet so far. I doubt there are many areas that we can feed here. I'm looking for a map. There's possibly a map here? Let's have a look. Uh, inside? No! Not in fact a map. We are here. I want five. That's what I want. It's very close by. That is the store I want. Right here. Excellent. We have a lot of money. Hopefully it's enough money. Hello. How are you? Don't worry, I'm friendly. Hi. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? 
You don't seem like the type to sell herbal remedies. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies forces to help aging parents with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag! Come on, I know you were in the military. You're not exactly hiding it. Yeah, subtlety is not this guy's M.O., clearly. <coughs> know anything about guns? Chinese invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. Got any? Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. <laughs> I like that. That's very clever. Excellent. Let's see what you've got. He has... Oh, there it is. The heavy leather. This is a set of heavy leather clothing. Heavy leather clothing has an arm rating of 3, but hinders movement resulting in a minus 1 penalty to dexterity. Some examples of heavy leather clothing are studded or reinforced leather jackets, good leather pants, and hard leather gloves and boots. We're buying that. You also sell the Colt Anaconda and various bits of ammo. Right, I now want to wear this. How do I look with this on? Oh, that looks really, really cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, I like that. It's a really cool outfit. Do you have any more dialogue for me? Welcome back. Thank you. I have a question, if you don't mind. Mm. Uh, I'm looking for a missing person named Barabbas. You know anything? No, I do not. Maybe you should ask Wong Ho at Red Dragon. He know many people. I'll do that. Thank you. Bye. So, we have better armor. We look even snazzier. With our broadsword. And that, we're a force to be reckoned with. Right, we need to find the Red Dragon. We are here. Red Dragon is number one. It's literally opposite. That is incredibly handy. Very handy. So, we'll save. And we'll go this way. And hopefully not cause a scene. Hopefully they'll let us in. Hello. Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago. But our lounge is still open. I'm just passing through. The lounge is right over there. Thank you. Bye. Okay, the lounge. Ooh, look how fancy all of this is. There are fish! Fish are cool. Okay, there's you, and you, and there's you. Can I talk to you? The answer is no. Uh, yes? Ah, you're a potential blood doll. I'm oh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. But you? Yeah? Okay, I don't think you're the person I'm looking for, either. Oh. There's someone in here! Hello! Sorry. Lu Fang no speak English when he drunk. Maybe another time. So, you're not the person I'm looking for, either. Maybe I don't have the ability to get the information I want here. Nine lives? Hmm. My quest says I need to actually go to... Uh, the Golden Temple. But it was worth checking here just in case. Right, the Golden Temple. Let's go there and ask about Barabbas. It was worth having a look. Alright, Golden Temple is... Golden Oceans, Temple of the Golden Virtue, it's at three. So it's right up here. Oh, that's a very prominent building. A very prominent building. Okay. Let's go in. And be very, very polite. Because this is Elysium. Definitely. Oh, there's a can of sardines here, and another one. Hmm. All right. 
Deep breath, Helen. Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Hmm. No, no tea, thank you. Ah, that is right. Your kind drink solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. My kind? What exactly is your kind? No one has told me this stuff. We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. Are you the leader of these Kuei Jin? In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Canite language. You're not descended from Cain, I take it. <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Cainite bloodline. But you are vampires. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. The second breath? There's a lot of things we are learning here. The second breath. Our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. But we are similar in a way. We share superficial similarities. Kuei-jin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. How else are we similar? Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. Oh, rot. So as a mortal you can choose to become supernatural? No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. So why are some chosen then? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it, even if it takes eternity. It sounds as much of a curse as the embrace of Cain, in a way. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Hmm. Speaking of legends, have you heard of the Ankaran sarcophagus? Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers <laughs> and his evil apocalyptic plot. I take it you don't believe in that. Kuei Jin do not share your history. Nor do we share in your false prophecies. False prophecies? It all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. Let's not dig into the history of the kindred here, because she has an agenda like everyone else in this city. We need to find out where the sarcophagus is. Do you know where it is by any chance? We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Who are those agents, if I may ask? Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So? The great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Do you have any idea where he could be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. I will head to the Red Dragon, then. Thank you. 
I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now, may you find your path, Kindred. Thanks. She was very, very polite to us. But that is because she knows that we are under the protection of LaCroix. She, like everyone else, has her own schemes and her own plans. And I do not trust her any more than I trust LaCroix. There's something very wrong going on in this city. And the Ankaran sarcophagus seems to be... Um... I think I need to go that way. I think something has happened here. Oh, I have no idea where they went, though. I think that was... Was that somebody being kidnapped from the Red Dragon? Ah, oh, it's no good if that's the case. Gonna have to go rescue them. I'm definitely gonna have to go rescue them. But that'll be for next time, folks. For when we come back, continuing to track down Barabbas. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.